Thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. In advance. Amen. Okay. I think but please, testimony. I want to share this testimony with you. Listen, maybe you don't know this. You remember the ten lepers? You remember the story about the ten lepers? Jesus healed how many? Ten. Out of ten, only one who went back to Jesus to say, thank you, Lord. If you don't know the importance of your testimony, you learn from me. It's too heavy for me to say this, but glory and honor belongs to God Almighty. Mm, this is why I need to give this uh, testimony through this song. Uh, you know that song by uh, You know that song. Listen, if you don't know where you are going, anything that you encounter along the line will frustrate you and stop you. But if you can see beyond what you are going through, nothing and nothing that can stop you. Even where your voice cannot reach, Jesus is there for you. I say Jesus is there for you. Please, one minute. Quick, quick. Hallelujah!
if you, you know you don't know, I have a reason. I know where I am coming from. I know what I've gone through. This is why I have to dance, because I have gone through thick and thin. Yes. I have a reason. People of God, this is my testimony. To our partners, I know before now, people were saying these things cannot work. Jesus, I know, nothing is too big for him. I'm telling you. you future will prove you wrong. I've been saying this. There are people who trust their mind more than their creator. Me, I don't trust myself. Look at me. A short man like me, with zero education. Ha. It is only the work of God. <laughs> Jesus has done it. We have been given a certificate to open a TV station. <laughs> By Jesus, the one who knows me, the one who called you and me, Atupela. So, let me take this opportunity to say thank you to all our partners who have been there supporting us, even where they could not see. The sign of, you know, the TV stations that very soon this station will be opened. They continued supporting me. May the Lord God Almighty multiply you in Jesus' name. And this is the beginning now of our journey. This is what? The beginning of our journey. I was in Nigeria when I received the, the letter from the IBA. I said, I'll keep this one. Uh, but I, let me call my wife and say, do you know what? There's something, I'm pregnant here. Uh, uh. <laughs> Even she, if you're not, what to pay each paper, like a piece of paper, she tunch tunch. That is my what? My testimony. And I want to encourage you that this is the beginning of our journey and our battle. Yes. I need you, you need me. Stand with me. Moreover, I have said it on the camera. Ha, ah, that is another issue again. Mm. But nevertheless, God is in control. Yes. Let's stand together and continue. Very soon we are getting there. We are penetrating the world. I'm telling you. I'm not encouraging you. We are what? Slowly but sure. Let me say this. Maybe you don't know. The more you know, you are, you know, you are increasing in number. That is the more God Almighty will expand his capacity and ability within you. I mean the anointing will increase or grow beyond the demand. A situation where you see you can just pray one touch. You will not go back again. Just one touch. Everyone is what? Is healed. That is the way God works. You see me, I pray for people. I'll go through this line. I'll come back again. On the same line. That is my level. Now when the capacity is expanded, just one touch, you are okay. <laughs> So thank you very much 
for your love for this ministry, your support for your brother, and continue. This is the work of God. That is the only thing you can use to defeat your enemy. You cannot use your account to say, look, Satan, my account is full. He will kill you. But if you say, Jesus is in me, he will run away from you. So, please, I'm begging you now. Those who want to be partners, this is the beginning of our journey. Let's join hands and support this move. Let's join hands and support this move. Remember, we are building a house of God again next year. Next year, not the other year, this is 2024, we are building a new structure here. On top of that, God has given us another blessing to open a TV station. That is double portion. Even if money is involved, God cannot give you something which he cannot you know, sustain. No. Anything from him, he is there to make sure that there is life. So let's join hand together. Even those who are not yet partners, please be a partner of this me too, I'm a partner from my father. I do, you know, contribute to my father where I, 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 I went. So let's join hands and support this journey. Support your local team. Is it not what you said? <laughs> support your what? <laughs> if you can support international, you say you are a church supporter, you cannot support your Zambian team. Are you a Zambian or a you are from British. If you can support there, even here, we need your hand. Praise the Lord. That is my testimony, people of God. My heart inside me is dancing. It is not easy in Zambia to have this. There is so many things that you go through. There are hills, you know, mountains. But Jesus is greater than any mountain. Before you sit down. My future belongs to God. Say it again. My future belongs to God. Yes. Future belongs to God. No one knows what is next. You don't know what you'll become tomorrow. 
today you are there. You are a lawyer. You are a teacher. You are a nurse. You are a pastor. Whatever title that you are calling. Make no mistake. Your title is not your future. Your future is Jesus. Everything that you are doing today. Don't blame anyone for your action. Because future belongs to God. It sees beyond human secret. My future belongs to God. Your future belongs to God. No one can bring a you know, solution to your life. No one can consider you to be a, a, a normal human being or important person in our society or in our family. But the one who knows your future is God Almighty. God can do anything for you in honor of his holy name. Even in a situation where you see that there's no hope, you look here, you look there, you are sick, you are not working, you cannot give birth. I want you to know that the day you encounter Jesus, that is the end of your problem. Men and women can sympathize with you. Men who come to encourage you. Your fellow brothers who come to encourage you. Jesus does not know how to encourage people. All what he knew is to give solution to our problem. That is Jesus I know. Let's go to the book of John chapter 9. Remember our title, Future Belongs to? Say it again, Future Belongs to God. If you like, you can put yourself to say, my future belongs to God. I can't hear you. Yes. Our future belongs to God. You can even go to prison. As long as you are destined to be a president, a minister, a lawyer, it's just a matter of time because your future is not there in the prison. It is the flesh which is there in the prison. Your future is not sick. It is your body. As long as your future is not sick, it, of course, that sickness cannot take your life. You are going to recover and become a doctor. That is the future I'm talking about. Listen to this. This is NIV. John chapter 9, verse 1. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? This is the question from a human being like you and me. Jesus answered them like this. Neither, this is verse 3, neither this man or his parent sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. Take note of that. This man was born blind. And then the disciples were asking Jesus, who sinned for this man to be born blind? Is this this man or the father or the mother? Jesus said, no, not even his parents or this man. This happened so that the power of God cannot, can be what? I mean, can be displayed through this man. Come on. I, I want you to know something here. Because there are certain things that are pulling you down every day. Each and every time you think about what is happening around your life, you can't see hope. On, the only thing that you could hear is people whispering or gossiping about your life. Future belongs to God. This is a blind man. Born blind. Not to Born blind where there's no hope. And there's no human being here on earth. No pastor, no bishop who can heal that person if it is not Jesus using a pastor. Are you there, people of God? Yes, let's continue. This is verse 3. I want to repeat this one again. Neither this man or his parent sinned, Jesus said, but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. So the situation that you are going through, 
is not to bring you down or to kill you. God wants to use your situation to display his power. That is a God of impossibility and possibility. That he can do anything through his power. It is not your fasting or my fasting that can bring healing. It is his power. Verse 4. As long as it is there, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can walk. Five. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and he put it on the man's highest. Are you there, people of God? Jesus spit on the ground. And he made some mud out of that saliva. Then he put it in that man's eyes. Simply means anything is used for God Almighty. You hear people saying, no, why anointing? It is there is a command, meaning you obey the voice to do that. Listen to this now. This is verse 5. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, verse 6, he spit on the ground and made some mud with the saliva. And he put it on the man's eyes. Seven. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. This word means sent. So the man went and washed and came home sin. The man went, he obeyed the voice from Jesus and he washed his face. A person who could not see from his face is now able to see and walk and going back home freely. What does it mean? Simply means future belongs to God Almighty. He can decide at any time. Those who are telling you that he, these things is, is finished. Your this is finished. No. No. Jehovah has a final say. Future belongs to God Almighty. If a blind person can see today, what are you telling me? Because according to what you know about this man's life, you know him as a blind person. Born a blind person. Which means this man will never, never see anything. But look at the way God works. He said, no, your future is not blind. It is your flesh. Let me transform it now into the physical. <clears throat> Receive your sight. But we should And if you follow the story, the Pharisees and all the leaders became hungry. How come? And it was Sabbath. This man was born blind. If you go in Skistin, I'm looking at time. I'm believing God. Maybe to continue with my message because I have a lot to offload. Some of you, you are living a hopeless life. That is not your portion. As a child of God, your future is in God's hands. But kuliwe na cancer failure ikakutanuka. Because future you cancer. So future cancer. Jesus will transform you from that sickness of cancer into a health human being. That's why future belongs to. 
Someone cast a spell on you. Who is that person? Satan. He wants to use that you know, spirit of borrowing to bring you down. Your future does not borrow. Come on, people of God. Your future does not what? It is the flesh. And the light hand of God will take over your life. And transform you to say now, go and make money. Because your future does not borrow. My future belongs to Jesus. Your future belongs to Jesus. No, you see, that is what the doctor seen in your system, according to the machine. But your future is pregnant with twins. Alaba naba tufiala. Nga chakwa fatula foku ipangila fiaba nawe esu. Nga tulaba designer. Hmm. Tamunfu ide. Ababa na tufiala nga chakwa tu walikuwa tamaka ya kupanga future. Nga tulaba chita shani. Mwadishwa na fio mfuwa yungwa na wenu kumoneka. Omba mula isha muamubike fuma muamubike vistu muamika foto kwa pike enu. Because future belongs to God. Tapari chomu inga chinja. U inga chinja vye vintu ni nani? Chapwa. Lesa ngalefu wakutu wabuka waisango omu ipi. O waisango omu tadi. Baku ipi chati. Ah ah. Chino nchikumule mwane koku ina. Mwane kano kulepa. Na bomba kale. Future belongs to who? Let me end there. I will continue with this message. I have a lot. Your future and my future belongs to God Almighty. This man was born blind. Remember the story in the book of Acts chapter 3. Here is a man again who could not do anything. The day this man encountered the power of God, he was able to stand and walk. My future is not sick. My future is not sick. Because future, be the people that you see today who are driving, enjoying, even those who are in government. Future will prove them right or wrong. Simply means the action that you take today. Don't blame anyone. Because future belongs to what? Even when you become a lawyer, a minister, a doctor. You should not boast that I have done it on my own. If it is not God or might, you cannot become what you have become. This is why you need to know what you are doing in that office. Future will prove you wrong because future belongs to God. Make no mistake. Do not injure any of your brother or your sister because you are a lawyer, because you are a teacher. You beat, you know, Abba uh, Nababene. No. You are there to be like a mother or a father. You don't know what these children will become tomorrow. I hope you are getting my message. Don't blame anyone for the action you are taking today or tomorrow. Because future belongs to what? No one can judge you. It is your future. And you cannot control your future. Only God who can do that. Can you see your neighbor, the one who is very close to you? Do you know his destiny? You don't know. Maybe you are sitting with the minister. Hmm? Maybe you are sitting with the president. Future belongs to God. And no one can tamper with your future. Because it is in God's hands. So stop blaming yourself. Complaining yourself. Future Belongs to God. Ababa le polaba. Imwe mwe mwa la pokerela. Umuten yoke fumakuli Yesu Christo. Tamu apole le pamu landoga tumle foku ya muku dance. You be healed because future belongs to Him. He want to restore you back. Thank you. God bless you. situation must bow within my body within my house within my family every new must bow and every time
one must confess that Jesus is Lord.